10 fingers. Nothing out of the ordinary for Ryan Wolf's paws. Ready, go. But what they've done at UNLV is 209 catches, best in the Rebel program, and second in the nation. Now, I've always been able to catch the ball pretty well, and then uh, growing up, I, I got a little bit bigger and a little bit taller than most people. So, And I, I always like when everyone's looking at me when I get the ball in my hands. In order for that to happen, Wolf relies on his underappreciated appendages, his legs. He is exceptional at catching the ball and turning up field on a dime, what we call a quick turn or a tight turn. And he's as good as I've ever seen at getting vertical with a pass after he gets it in his hands. Physical features are easy to spot on the field. But it's the mental part of his game that serves as the linchpin of his success, a combination of intensity and intuition. He has, first of all, the ability to know where the hits are coming from and where the pressure is. Getting lined up correctly. And then uh, kind of secondary thing is just seeing what the defense is lined up at. Coach tells us every day, either you get better or you get worse. And I'm pretty sure everybody sees he gets better every day. He's one of the best players in the country at that position, and yet he's striving to outwork everybody on this field. Uh, just knowing that what you're doing is contributing to, to the success, success of the team is kind of the best part of being a receiver. We call this a craft or an art, and we're always looking to perfect it. I mean, there should be something wrong with you if you don't want to be the best at your position. Pass complete. Ryan Wolf, and he takes it into the end zone. 